Normally I stay off the camera. But for this today, I have to show you. When you are cleaning your media, regardless whether you're using a bleach solution or a hydrogen peroxide solution like I am, get some old clothes on, okay? Both of them will stain or will bleach your clothes out. Okay? These are some old painting clothes of mine. Something you can afford to do without because it will ruin your clothes. I don't care how careful you are, you're going to get some on you. Alright? We're doing our media. And if you have hydroponics or aquaponics, you have media. There are two different ways usually people clean their media. And the most traditional way was bleach. And if you're using bleach, you want to use one cup per five gallons of water. I prefer hydrogen peroxide. I use a 12% solution. Now, if you got 35% solution, you want a half cup per five gallons. you have the 12% like I do, you use a cup and a half per five gallons. Now there's 10 gallons of water in here, so I put three cups of solution. What you want to do is, first off, take your media, and just dump it in. Now I'm doing both of my large ones right now. I'm going to try and keep them separate. This one has a little bit of the lower, smaller medium in it, unfortunately. But we'll try to keep them separate, okay? Now, put it in here, get it stirred in good, okay? Now, I like to leave it in here for about 30 minutes. So in about 30 minutes, I'll show you where we go from there. Okay, this is set for a half hour. Now there's several reasons people clean their media. This came out of my aquaponics, and I want to clean out the leftover fish emulsion and stuff like that. But my perlite from my hydroponics unit has got, I've been using it for years, and it's got decayed root matter in it. And I want to kind of clean that up for that reason. But basically, after it's soaked in here for a half hour, you take it out, you see any debris in there, get it out, okay? And I'm going into my first rinse. Okay, there's another stick. And after you do your first rinse, you go to a second rinse. Okay? Now, just as an example, this is the roots that are in here, okay? And any media is going to pick up roots. Now, these are floating out. Now, some of them stay in, no big deal. They're sterilized. But you want to try to get out as much as possible just for flowing purposes and your pump purposes, okay? After you've done your first rinse, Okay. Take that. And go into your second ring. Now 
Now as you see, even after the second rinse, more root matter comes out. Not nearly like the first time, but still coming out. But we're rinsing it again, and from there, we'll put it into a regular bucket. Okay, now that I've rinsed that bucket out, stir this around one more time. Still more root matter coming off of it. Okay? But that's going to be clean enough for ours. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that first bucket and I'm going to dump it. I'm going to take the second bucket, put it in as the first bucket, give me a nice clean bucket of water, and so on and so forth. So every time I go through the process, I'm going to re be replacing one of the buckets. This way you're always having clean water at the end of the final rinse. Well, let me finish these off on the expanded clay and then I'll show you the perlite. All right, we got all our expanded clay done. Now the last thing to do is the perlite that I cleaned out of my strawberry system. And I'll show you that here in just a second. This is the perlite I got out of my uh, strawberry system. It's been in there for years. So what we're going to do is we're going to let it soak in the hydrogen peroxide solution. And then after that happens, I'm going to take it out and I'll put it into these net bags. Okay, these are the net bags. They're laundry bags. And we will do a, a double, triple rinse, whatever it takes. Well, let me fill this up and let it soak for 30 minutes and then we'll come back. Alright, the peroxide solution has neutralized all the algae in the uh, perlite. Now all I gotta do is I will strain out any root matter or dead plant matter that I find in it and then I will put it into the uh, nylon laundry bags. Now after bagging it, after the first wash with the peroxide, letting it soak to kill all the algae and such, and also that helps break down the roots that are left in it, we got out any large debris, okay, there's still you know, a couple little chunks in there, but for the most part, got some, some stones and other stuff in there, but it's back to pretty much white. Now, years ago, I would have just thrown this out, but now the cost of stuff has gone up so much that it's, it's worth cleaning. Well, I'm probably going to rinse this one more time, and then I'm going to let it dry. Now, with the media, all your media, after you're done doing it, it's important to let it dry. Uh, reason being is that peroxide that's in there, when it dries, it will break down and completely dissipate. And if you're using bleach, especially, okay, let it dry. The chlorine will turn into a chlorine gas and evaporate, okay? You do not want to put this back into your system until it has dried completely and been dry for a while just to make sure. After all, most of this stuff is uh, kind of retains moisture so you kind of have to make sure that it's really dry. Well I hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe.